Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, I think I missed this particular topic like formic with Redux integration. So I am covering this first after this video. After this we can talk about other form elements. Okay. So we are writing React. Uh, we are writing these formic forms. Once the form is validated, we have the values. Then sometimes we wanted to submit these this data to the Redux section. Okay. So we should also be aware about how we can do the Redux integration with the formic. So once we have everything ready, we should be able to submit the values captured from the form to the Redux action. It's like it can be login user, register user, submit form. All these actions can be there, right? So I have this component and I'm writing this uh, formic as a higher order component. Okay. Now what we need to do is we also need to integrate it with Redux. So I'm already using bind action creator and connect. So this will help me to actually trigger the action to the Redux actions. I mean, I will be getting actions from the formic. Once the form is submitted, we have all the values. So all those things we can capture here. So this is a higher order component. So with formic, we can have a validate method, handle submit and all. So here we can have a validate method. In this validate method, we are getting values. And we can have another thing is handle submit. This is another function which we have. And here we will be able to access the values. And in the destructured property, we will get props. And it's submitting. Here we are getting props, right? So from the props, we can ac access the actions which we are getting from Redux like login user okay this we can get from props and here we will just check the payload const payload equal to like you can customize your payloads so email values dot email I have I should be able to access this values dot email and I have a password maybe so I will just say values dot password okay now I have both the values so I can directly call this login user I can and I can pass this payload and I can pass this payload and then it's like asynchronous event right so you can do whatever you want you can handle the promises here also Once this event is done, then I will call set submitting. This is called as a set submitting. I think it should be set submitting. Yeah, set submitting false because now you have submitted the Redux action. Now I can mark it as a false. Okay. And I have already wrapped it around my component. So basic component I, I got. So in this component, I'm getting all the properties. This is how we write higher order component. And this is simple form. Either you can use uh, the form, form tags and field tag. And this is just an example, right? You can just convert it to form, form tag and field tag. So this is my basic component. And on submit, I'm just checking the arrays and all and I'm submitting this form. So this is my basic form component. So most of the things we are doing here okay so apart from this this is basic component here we will be writing our map state to props map dispatch to props and then we will write our connect function to map all these things right so const maps dispatch to props Map dispatch to props and this will access dispatch function and with the help of dispatch we will actually bind the action to the local action bind action creators and in this we will bind our login user so we have one method login user and this is bind with dispatch okay Similarly, we can have a map state to props or you can pass that as a null. I'm not doing anything with the map state to props here. Okay. 
Max Crypto Props. I'm not like accessing any state. And then finally what we do is we actually export everything on the connect which is a higher order function right so we pass map state to props which is actually null you can directly pass null but if you want to define const map state to props comma this map dispatch to props and there you will pass your component which you are exporting so the component which we are exporting from here is this form component okay so we so finally we will be doing export default redux this is my final component so we are using two higher order component first is this uh, with formic then connect okay so this is how we can integrate with uh, redux redux is actually when you bind any method to bind action creator this login user will be available in the props i'm accessing login user and i'm just calling that okay this is all about how you can integrate react uh, formic forms with redux using higher components thanks everyone